Hi everyone and welcome in this video. In, today I will present you a tool that is very very important in what I do. So I'm a solution architect, I'm also a developer and I really need to work on Git repositories on a daily basis. And to do this, as you can see, I'm using Git Kraken for ages. It's really one of the tools I couldn't work efficiently without it. And I wanted to take the chance to demonstrate why it's so interesting for me. So I a maintainer of this uh, open source project and I got a ticket uh, two days ago asking for an update. So it's not something I do regularly. It's something that works and I don't have any new feature to deliver right now, but still it's important to make updates. And like for this one, it's a tool developed in .NET and I need to make an update and there is someone asking for it. So I will be very happy to do it. But to do this, uh, I need to well to work on the code and, and do everything. So I will do it in this video. So um, here I go on Git Kraken on the nice UI. And I can see I don't have it in my tabs. So what I will do, I will look uh, if I got it in my in my locally on my machine. I don't see it. So what I do, I will do a clone. I will search for it. Okay. Then I just make sure I put it in the right folder and I do a clone. And here it is. So it's cloned. You've seen it, it has been done in like two, two seconds. And here I've got a nice view of uh, where I stand. So I've got a lot of branches, but it's done automatically by a tool looking for updates. And I can see, as a matter of fact, that I've got some updates to do. So I can see I'm on a branch, uh, I can see the remote. First thing I need to do is to create a branch because I don't want to do something directly on the main branch. So I will call it uh, NuGet update for March 2003. Here it is. So I'm on a branch. I've got the code locally on my machine and I can work. So for this one, I will use Visual Studio. Open it. Uh, I work. I go on my workspace. Defo. Okay, I've got my folder that has been correctly cloned by Geek Kraken. It will load. So here it is. Um, I've made some updates. I spared you <laughs> all the details, but you can see there have been changes. So I've done the code change in the IDE. IDE. So in Visual Studio. And now I want for this new version to be pushed to the Git repository on GitHub and also have all the CI process running to see if it's okay and potentially create a merge request. So once again, I'm done with editing the source code. So I'm going back to Git Kraken to do the interaction with GitHub. So here I can see all the different things. I can review the changes if it makes sense. Okay, looks good. So what I will do here, it's okay. Updates, and you get packages. Watch. I'll migrate to .NET app. Okay, I all the fish changes are good for me. <coughs> I do a staging, I will commit. Now it's only on my machine. I can see the computer, but the reference is still here. What I will do is I will do a push to push it to the remote repository, which is on GitHub and, and I can see it here, origin. I will submit it and I can see if I want, I can go and view uh, origin on GitHub and I can see it has been successfully pulled. So now I have committed everything on my branch. My branch is in the reference repository, so on GitHub. What I want to do is to create a pull request so it can be merged uh, on the main branch. To do this, once again, I can still do it in, uh, in Geek Kraken. So I will go on the branch, make start a pull request. I will select uh, the target branch. I will put the title, uh, put some contents. Well, I would do quickly, but usually I add more stuff and I can add additional information if I want, but for this, it's good. I will do create a pull request. I can see that it's been created. I've got this link and I can click on it. 
So the continuous integration pipeline did its job. Uh, it has been able to, to make all the tests, to run Sonar. So everything's look good. We've got uh, all checks in green. So CI was OK. It runs OK. Uh, I've got Sonar telling me, OK, no new issue with the code. I'm, I'm good to go. So I can merge my, uh, my change. And this is really what I wanted to share with you. It's how good it is to have Git Kraken because I can focus on the code change. I can focus on the changes on GitHub, but I don't have to care um, about Git. It's made easy. So this is really, really an interesting tool. And in a matter of a few minutes, I can have everything set up and help me uh, to manage a lot of repositories. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon.